It is important to make sure you are continuing to take care of yourself and your mental health, especially as we move into the colder months where it gets darker outside much earlier. We talked to Needham Youth and Family Services on different things you can do to keep positive during these times. In general, when we talk about self-care, it's important to just think about what we all need in the moment, you know, especially when it gets darker a lot earlier, you know, for a lot of people, their work day is ending and it's already dark out or kids are coming home from school, whether it's the hybrid model or, you know, they're getting off their Zoom calls late in the day and it's already dark. And, you know, we just really need to pay attention to our body and our mental health and make plans for each day to do little things to take care of ourselves. Because, you know, if it becomes part of our routine, it can make a huge difference in our overall mental health. During the warmer weather, people would be outside more. They're getting fresh air, they're getting sunlight, and that becomes harder as it gets colder. I think that with kids, there's still definitely always an option of going outside. We just have to bundle up and there is still a ton of value in that, but we might have to think about self-care a little differently and consider what else we can do in our house to still take care of ourselves when the being outside option is not as relevant. You know, self-care can be so many different things. I think a lot of times people have it in their mind that it looks like meditation or mindfulness, but really it could be a lot of things. It's making time to get to bed early or cooking a healthy meal finding little things to do that you find pleasure in that don't have to be anything complicated, but really just taking time out of our very, very busy days right now to do small things to give yourself time to relax and have some downtime. The town does have a ton of resources that are available to residents. Um, there's our office, Needham Youth and Family Services, where we are running a little bit of a wait list, but um, people can call and put their name down and potentially receive free confidential clinical services. You know, but there's lots of other places that you can go to. We also recommend that people would check in with their um, primary care physician as like an initial first step, and they might be able to make a referral to a clinician. Um, you know, really, the more we talk about these things, the more we break down the stigma um, that it's uh, not something that everyone does. Tons of people talk to counselors. Tons of people right now are needing additional support because it is such a difficult time. So there are lots of local places, um, local counseling centers, um, our office in particular, you know, if we're talking about children, would also recommend letting the school know, you know, reaching out to those guidance counselors as well, because, you know, we're all here to help.